I want to I want to watch this more in depth just because uh obviously the only reps that I've seen of it are of our scrims so I'm like this is the first match rep decent map apart from the water hill I kind of agree I think the water hill is very very cheesy right now uh I didn't watch this specific map so this is my first time watching this so we'll see how these guys played out so both teams sending three to time one guy goes to the water side I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure orange team gets there first right or maybe not in search in search and destroy they get there first I think because they they were waiting out nades or throwing nades themselves because they threw their nades themselves they uh they got there later Number six kind of just booked it to the hill. Oh, number four gives up you right away. Where do you move the water hill? I was saying, um, in my opinion, I think you could just take out the hill and just go four to one. You just have four hills. But the other thing you could do is you can have one over here, two here, uh, make this three make this four and then make this five but the only thing i don't care too much about it is like five and three are like so close to each other and it kind of like actually no five and three it's not the problem is five and three it's more so the one to three or the one to five like the five to one rotation it's i don't know it's just it's so close it feels weird that it would be that close at least if it was like three to one where i'm saying the fourth hill would be like you don't change the fourth hill and, and number four is over here it's a little bit more of a rotation. This five to one thing is like, you're probably gonna have uh, just like cross map spawns on both. And it kind of, I feel like it would play the same. I don't know. That's just my initial thought process on if they had a stage show like that. Drain the pool. I don't think they would ever drain the pool cause it would, it would fuck up like the vibe of the entire map, no? Make it in the bar near water. That shit would just never get broken then, though. I feel. It would be different if there was an entrance way on this side. But since you can only get it from the pool side, it would get really trolly, I think. I think on the, this P1 can actually be super easily held if uh, if you win the break off pretty easily. Center. Same thing with like the P5 to or yeah the P5 to P1 rotation. If you get early time on P1, it can be really hard to break. Just having to go and like over chow to get someone off of their side time because they can just contest from the other side is is big. It looks like it's a it's a two two though. Everyone I feel like in scrims that I've seen has been running just two AR two sub for like the majority of the map. This is interesting because the spawns on this you'll get you'll get uh P four spawns. This is like the contest spawn, kind of like a white time spawn, but also if you have people like going out towards P two, so you'll see this spawn a lot. Uh, which is really interesting for the rotation because you can you can spawn deep here and have people spawn P4 like this. You guys have probably noticed that already, but you'll see this a lot probably. Have you guys liked the new maps? What are your thoughts on the new ones that got taken out, or about the ones that you got taken out? Um, six stars growing on me. Vista's also kind of growing on me. The only thing is uh. I mean, they're not the best, but it, they're definitely better than the other two maps, I think. I think Skid Row was just in a bad place because of, of what they did with the spawns there and because they never changed uh, P2. And I think Invasion was kind of in a bad place as well. So I, I think these play better than those, but it, I mean, it wasn't really hard to be one to, to play better than that. Hey, what's good, Gizmo? Three months in a row. Appreciate it, man. Welcome back. So because they get these P4 spawns, it looks like LAG is not really playing for it. They don't really notice it because now 7 gets one, but number 6 is over here towards towels already. He's like pushed out, but these guys have both gotten P4 spawns and can break from the back. 
This P2, this P2 can actually be a really big money hill. Those were some weird spawns that came through with the white time on P1. That actually set Vegas up with a really good break and pinch opportunity. It's a good pinch by Nero. They're not going to pick up the, the vents right away. But, I mean, the way that you, like, can hold this, it can be really, really hard to break sometimes. But, they, like, Vegas has already got initial control towards, like, this towel pool side. But, if like, let's say they're spawning out over here, and you're already in the hill, and you're already pushed out, like, towels... It's, this is like very hard to break. They are already got initial positioning towards pool, which is important though. Hey, good morning, e -Road. What's up? And even holding from the front like this too. Like you hold from the front, all you have to do is watch your, your vents and drop from hill. And you just have someone like poolside watching like L or outer or whatever you want to call it. It can be held from both sides. How long would you say on average would it takes would it take to feel comfortable on the map? Um I would say after about like after about like two weeks of scrims, I think you have a good idea of like how you really want to play it and everything. But obviously like things keep getting adapted and teams do new stuff and everything like that, so you have to obviously stay on top of it. But in terms of like the basics I would say like one to two weeks uh, of scrim. So like, I guess one to two weeks would be like, I would say like after the 10th time playing it would be a good basis of like, okay, this is, we're going to be like having this specific plan based on like how the scrims have gone. Do new hill spawns come into play when old has 10 seconds left? Uh, no, not, not new hill spawns, but... I remember last year they kind of like changed uh there was like specific moments in like mercado where like new spawns would unlock towards like the final like moments of one but it'll still be that hill spawns technically not like the new new hill low-key teams need to watch vegas they're definitely good enough to cause chaos and upsets also good morning i i, I agree and good morning to you huffy as well Massively profitable hard point there from LAG. We now go from one bar to the infinity pool to the next bar. Up top, left hand side of the mini map, open for business. Yeah, and this is it. So now this is just a spread set setup. Obviously, in order to break, you can either go through the front, you can go through outer, you can hop up the wall, go through like P1 and, and break this way, or take a longer route. That's what number three is playing for over here. So sometimes you'll see like maybe three guys go front side and then one guy hit out the back, try and block the spawn. Uh, so that's what number three is looking for. And uh, they're kind of like all spread out here, like watching their own lane. Uh, number four watching this way. Number one watching this way. Number two watching the pool. But let's see, let's see if LG can break this. They don't get the initial trade on, on Purge, and that's, that's good play out of Purge. He gets the first kill, stuns the guy, backs up, and uh, number three, Nero, can try this other guy. Now you just have to worry about your front. Because you know that they're not going to be like sending more people. Because if they were sending, like, I mean, that would be insane. Off of P2, sending two people this way and sending, like, two people this way. So you basically just have to worry about your front now. What's good, Mur Murdoch? What's up? Just P1 on this. Uh, they get the P4 spawn. It's such a random spawn. That's what I was saying before. So that's just, like, the contest spawn. So, like, you have your main spawns over here. You have your main spawns over here. But you also have contest spawns, like, either white time or if... People get into your spawn, start blocking it, and you're blocking this. They can spawn over here too. So it's just something you have to look out for. That's just it's just the system on this map. This map seems like a lot of money hills. Am I wrong? Um, for right now, I think I think specifically, always when a new map comes in, I feel like the hills are a little bit harder to break because teams aren't sure what they want to really do yet. Like, especially, I think, in this first weekend, you're going to see a lot of more full holds. Uh, but I do think, in general, this map specifically uh, does have, like, some easier holds. Like, I think P2 is an easy hold. I think P3 can be an easy hold. Um, P4 is a little bit different. But, it, I mean, all of them can technically be money hills. P5 is really cheesy, and I probably the biggest one. So that's why I, I think it'll get removed anyways, based on the rumors or whatever. But... 
right now it, it could be really really hard to break because technically all you need to have is one guy in the water and then just watching over him like from either side and because you can shoot in the water because you can finesse in the water it can be really 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 annoying jp the most polite man in cot i don't i have no idea why is this salt so ass damn that's crazy that's i don't know leg leg always performs at land but i guess in these matches they they just they just play differently or something because they they play well at land like they've gotten top six both times right and honestly when we scrim them they they look like all right so it's not like i don't know i guess something is different in matches i don't know like if i if i were to guess like going into this match i thought this would have been a game five banger i would not have, i have like based on like playing these teams in scrims and stuff i would have I, I would have guessed this would have been much closer i'm not gonna lie what are your thoughts on the current weapon meta um i mean it's fine but it, it i think i think the rival needs to be uh it can't be as good long range as the, as the ar i'm fine with it being better like close up and mid-range but long range it shouldn't beat the ar that's that's my only gripe about the situation I'm glad Subbase is still in play. I know spawns sometimes are cheese, but it's fun to watch from a viewer perspective. I, I definitely think if we had to add one more map, it would be taken out, but I don't think we're adding any more maps for the rest of the year, so I think it'll be in. Hey, what's good, HB Jello? Once again, they're trying to send two people towards white over here. Number two gives it up the wrong time, but he, he goes back towards it. They trade him out. Now you got 2-2, two, two, front side and back side. It should be a break here. And they do. Good trades. But again, 20 seconds left. You're starting to rotate for P4. These guys are spawning out here. They go through, through like the curve or long, whatever you want to call it. Number seven pushes out front. He gets one kill, gets traded out. You know, still P3 spawns, so they're spawning P2 side. This stage is really important. If you can hold this stage side, it's really hard for these guys in hill because like especially especially if if you're in hill and you have stage control it's so hard for them to break but once you're able to get that first initial kill towards the stage uh you have options the only thing you need to do now is not die from the top office always got to pay attention to little things yeah a couple of players might be coming across that one soon here comes the approach fame train choo choo all aboard will he be derailed all right this is another thing guys this is why this map I mean, something needs to be done with this shit. Like, you're just getting no hit reg over here because the door is closed. You can't shoot through these doors. So, what Purge is doing here is he's one weighing it and getting information for his team that's like overlooking towards the hill. So, like Dylan up here, Nero bottom over here. Uh, you just you just can't shoot through the glass door. So. Of it's funny, like he can't shoot himself, which is just as funny, but he's getting info in this specific situation. But they just slide onto the hill. So like, even though he's getting info, he doesn't have team shots for his team. So that's the downside of it. I think it's more beneficial on the other side. This one is not so much. I think you, you just gotta like play like with your team and sh team shot or whatever, uh, and trying to finesse the door. But the one way on this side of the map, when you're spawning over here and they have people watching this way and they can peek through the door and shoot like that is much more beneficial. The other thing you'll see is, uh, especially if you're holding from this side and they're trying to break, you'll see people prop this door open and just play behind it. So in order to like actually kill you off of time, here, let me make it a different color. In order to actually kill you off of time, you're playing in this corner, right? The pink is the door. They have to over, they have to let me make a different color. They have to overextend and kill you around this way or like overextend and kill you this way. You see that a lot of time, people were doing that all the time in the control as well. When we were testing out control on this map. How long have pros been actually testing this map for? Uh, since the map came out. So what was it? Did it come out last, last Tuesday or last Wednesday? 
Something like that. So now they spawn deep, and this is what I was talking about. So like, you see that they're they're holding this. Imagine if if number seven had pushed through kill number four and is now like just playing this doorway. He closes the doors or even you know keeps them ajar so that you can peek through it. It's just it's free kills or free info, uh, whichever like both basically on number three. Again, LAG with another outstanding break. Nameless, the pick might start to look a little dangerous. Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't personally like playing the door that way. I, I'd rather, I like, I think playing it this way. Like if, if number six, if he instead of closing this door, went around, busted it this way, and just played behind it, I think that's what teams are are starting to do. They're just gonna tr like completely cheese it out. Honestly, I'm surprised that shit hasn't like somewhat been GA'd or something yet, but you'll see a lot of people trying to finesse those one ways like that. And now he just breaks and now he just breaks through that doorway. So in my play, in, in my personal opinion, the play here, he gets the kill on purge. Good job of getting the kill. You go in, bust the door this way, play the fucking corner and just one way this shit because every other team's going to do it. And in this way, no one was like actually watching low office here. Look at the, look at the arrows. You got two people watching drop, three people watching drop. No one's even watching top office. He's watching the pinch. Okay, good on, on him watching the pinch. No one's watching top or bottom office. So this 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 hole just completely breaks. Number eight is has to be the one to turn and actually watch the top office, and then he would give up the pinch. We have three people watching the drop though. That's just a miscom or something. That's what, that's what I'm saying, Brian. I don't know why three people are watching the fucking the inst insane cut drop. The water the waterfall drop. Brian, you're telling me if you're if your team's playing this shit, you guys aren't in this shit in this situation, you get this kill bottom office. You go inside, bust the door open, one way this shit and just play the corner. Tell me every other team is doing that shit. I swear every team we're playing, it would have done that shit. The one way was so good since day one. Dude, it's so cheese. It's so cheese. They have to fix that shit. So they just break through bottom office for free. Now we're on rotation. Crazy split spawns because number four is pushed out. We got spawns over here, spawns over here. Everyone in different corners in the map. LG ends up winning the, the rotation battle though. And they're in a good a position. They're already like, they're pushed out mid. So five gets info on one guy's mid. They're pushed out right side, they're pushed out left side. They know that they're spawning this side. Now you can play for it. They, these water gun fights are so trolly. I gotta wait, I gotta go back. So Astro gets one, gets straight out. Diamond Con loses a big one mid map. I personally, if I, I mean, obviously this is like super hindsight, new map. I personally would rather number eight help out towards the pool side and have the person off spawn. Like once this guy spawns. Number five covers mid, because number two is not a threat yet, but number one and number four are a threat towards towards New Hill. So I think this is just like an order thing. That's an Abizi corner if I've ever seen one. Oh, are you talking about the the glass door corner? Yeah. I, I, it's just a, it's a cheese corner that everyone's gonna use. So I technically not a I wouldn't say a Abizi corner. Every, everyone's gonna use that shit. The water hill wouldn't be bad if bullets didn't function differently going through water. Yeah, the it's just all the the gunfights in general are just so troll with that shit, and everyone's using the pistols, and it's it's so the dynamics of it just or like the physics of it just don't uh, don't make it fun or don't make it like good gameplay in my opinion. 
Lucia's give you the extra one, but all things considered. All right, so rotation back to P1. Vegas off old here. Number four is already pushed up. He's already got U control. This is this is a good play. He's not gonna see this guy DJ, but he sees them. I think throw it. Sees him throw the stun here, right? Yeah, he does. Good kill, holding you. But he needs help from his team. I wonder why two is is slow on this. Does he think someone's behind? Two is playing this like really slowly for some reason. I'm, 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 they must have a, a call out that he they could already be their side P1 because Purge went you you. Yeah, because he's like I don't have our side, so number two is playing it a little bit slower, which kind of fucks them over. He does get traded, but just trying to buy his teammates some time. Geo, that next man in line. Nice shots out of Geo. Let's see if the nades are a little bit better. Yeah, two kills. Now you start banging on the hill. Good job, attach. Dealing with the two piece. Breaks the hill on in. Now they're spawning like deeper. You have U control already. You just have one guy left, DJ. You just hit this guy out. Yep. Hit this guy out. Now you're, you're holding time. Just watch your U, watch their side. You have everything covered. Look at look at Vegas here. They have white covered. They have a wraparound covered with number three. They're going to have you covered as well. Only thing is, there's going to be two guys you. So number four is going to have to adjust. Yeah, he doesn't even get one. Number two adjusts to it. Trades go down. Nero actually ends up winning the gunfights. Jesus, like, good fucking play by Nero. It was a, it was a crazy chaotic pa battle, but he picks up the, the three piece. Gets the trade on Diamond Con, who was weak. Gets the first guy, es Estriel, and then last guy, blue side. Now you can hold the rest of the 30. They have to rotate. I don't think they're going to hold, or I don't think they're going to try and pressure this new. Maybe one or two guys. But they're going to try and keep these, these back spawns, I would assume. Yeah, they're not going for it. That's a big kill front. Because they get a kill dub side, if they want to, they can just like pressure out front side here. I don't know what they end up doing, but technically you have the option off this old time. You can either, you know, stack through the back, try and break the spawn and then hold through the back here. And while they're trying to break from the front, you hold that way or you break from the front. Hold the time here, they're spawning the back and you kind of trap them so that they can never like actually reinforce back in the hill. Because think about their reinforcements. In order, like, if they're spawning back here, they either have to go drop, which is a fucking funnel if you're in the hill. They have to go vents, which is another fucking funnel if you're in the hill. All you have to do is, tech, you just have to watch it from hill. Or you go L, and if you have poolside, you can have people watching it. So, you can either, you can do both of them. It's whatever you kind of want to do. I think because they get the kill here, they probably have a better chance of, like, just going through the front here. Spence, the guy who's going to spawn in the back. But let's see what they do. I mean, they get another kill blue side. It looks like they're going to try and hit through the back and have one guy hit through front, though. So number two is going to hit through the front. Looks like these three guys will try and hit through the back, though. Or maybe take a route through the vent. We'll see. The thing is, yeah. This is, this is the spawn that we were talking about in that first P1. You get the P4 spawns once you're contesting like this. So either number one has to be aware of it, or these guys on, off old are like trying to pitch through the back, have to be aware of it. He's going to go straight through drop. Number eight actually sees him and can get that kill. And number seven, since he spawned out towards P P4, he hits through old and pinches them. So that's why I was thinking, like, maybe it'd probably be better for them, specifically because they got that, that kill, the first kill towards dub and the kill towards vents. I think... Because they're going to spawn in the back here, you might as well like try and bully out the front with those first two kills. Hey, what's good, Slatsy? How's it going? From your perspective, how is it? How it has been coaching analyzing um, Modern Warfare Three maps slash new maps? Uh, I mean, it's it's always kind of like the same. You're just I like the the opportunity to actually relearn stuff because it, it kind of puts a fresh perspective each stage where you have at least one map where you kind of have to like basically completely learn from scratch. So it gives a fresh perspective on everything and kind of reinvigorates everyone's like desire to learn.
I think a lot of times in respawns, especially like middle of the year, people uh, get complacent and start just playing the same way over and over again. So having something where you kind of like can brainstorm again because, you know, it kind of just gets figured out after a few months of play. Like, you know, the ideal way of kind of playing everything. It's just actually executing it. Uh, but getting that new, fresh mindset of like, okay, we have to completely figure out this this map is is fun, in my opinion. So in a situation where I think L or LAG should not have been able to break this at all, or they should have gotten broken initially, right as like the P2 was about to pop, uh, they, they salvage it. So not great by Vegas, even though they're obviously going to win this map. Um, I thought they they should have they should have been able to break that P2. And this is what I was saying kind of uh, before with breaking through the front. This is only because they they failed on their first attempt and they spawned out like over here. So now you know the next attempt is probably going to be the, through the front. Like you can have one guy watching mid like this and just basically rule out everything else. And now you know they're they're going to hit like towards front side, towards full side because of where they spawn. And now you can adjust that easily. I mean, they still get the kills for it, so. I guess because number seven dies out, they have a 4v3. And since number five, look at this reinforcement again. Because, because he has to like basically play for a possible P1 pinch, in my opinion, like, the reinforcement from like mid to the hill, he has to go through the fucking vents. It's not like a fast rotation. So basically, this is just a 4v2 on hill with this, this number seven guy spawning out too. Look at me, he, he has to take so much time and it's an easy clear. Like if he doesn't get into the hill already, it, he's just stuck and he has to take a gunfight while he's fucking crouched in the, in the box. You know what I'm saying? Did I go over the phase match? Uh, no, we'll do that tomorrow because obviously since we we play phase, I'm uh I'll just watch it as the pre thing tomorrow. And this is what I'm talking about: holding through the front. You have people just watching drop and vents in the hill. You have one guy watching the pool, and they, it's so hard for them to break. And then good play by attach here. He's he's covering the overextend in case you know they spawned out here and they wanted to just wrap for P3, get the the sponsor P3 and hold like that. But it looks like they're trying to play through old, so all of them are going through this L slash drop. And so it's just team shots. But now, number one, he adjusts. He knows that they're all towards old side, so that they're just going to play through the front. They're going to still be spawning better here. Or I think so. We'll see. Yeah. They're going to be still spawning better. And you just trade out the guy's front side. So even though they, you know, play through old, broke it, you know, you're still spawning fucking deep. You had to have gotten, gotten like another wave of kills towards here to make it like, in my opinion, uh, valuable. Alright, Purge, he's, he's pushed out over here on the rotation towards bar. He's watching the entirety of mid. So anyone, number six and number seven, if they don't go U side, he's seeing them, right? Number five and number eight. Number five looks like he's going to be cutting towards you. Purge actually wouldn't see him unless he, you know, shifts his, 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 uh, his POV. But number look, number eight looks like he's going to go for a deep route. This is what I was kind of talking about before. You take take the deeper route, try and block or contest the spawns, maybe get them for yourself while the rest of your guys hit through either the front or through uh, white. So we'll see we'll see what LEG does here. Second set. So number five is going to be cutting purge. Look at purge. Look at purge. He's he's shifting back and forth. He knows that it's a possibility for them to cut that way as well. I don't know if he, he hears this guy uh, throwing a nade, we'll see. But, you know, he's also missing number seven uh, come right up, out of his sights because he's turning for this. But he should get a two-piece, yeah. They, they don't even look for him. Huge kill. Number seven spawns out, but number eight is about to start contesting here. They still spawn in the back, so technically he's not, like, hard blocking it yet. Honestly, I thought he would be blocking the spawn. It, like, just straight up. Based on like how his positioning is, because like because he's furthest from these players towards.
towards this side and because he's kind of just in this area i thought this would have been blocked honestly like i i'd never i haven't seen that before but he gets a, a free kill on number one number three chase him out and i mean number three oh no number four sorry number four chase him out but number three also gets a kill on number six so again same thing as that previous uh p3 you get the two kills backside and now you're like, okay, that's probably just the rest of the guys coming up front because you got the other two down uh, while, while this guy was towards the bar here. He gets these kills over here, over here. They get the last two kills. You know that they're spawning out front here. So you just play for the front. That's why I think this, this hill can be really, really easy to hold. Did you think if a match was a best of five, the standings would be, so much, would be much different? No, the standings would be the same. The top four teams would be the top four teams. The stands would probably be the same. They had the last go around. Phil B. Heglitch just watch one angle in an actual power position from Geo to watch the hop up. This is looking nearly impossible to break down. I mean, it's just good trades here. You just, they get the first wave because the first wave is so important, especially on these hills where, again, new map, teams aren't uh, really good at breaking yet. You know, that's something that's always going to be something that ramps up later on is more the more reps you get but once you get that first wave you know where they're spawning and you can play for it it's so much easier and you i mean you see that every map and everything too like it's it's so straight up after that first wave that a lot of teams have like such ease just holding especially on on the hills that like are obviously easier to, to hold number three try to get on rotation early he gets picked out for it though they're spawning deep now let's see if leg can hold this so actually this is i think just a white time spawn so they're not blocky it obviously they're not on time number two gets blessed with this spawn so now they're converging from literally every angle uh let's see if 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 leg reads this though like they're trying to hard play the front but technically like technically like number one can just pinch through like p2 this way or whatever and they're just not even looking at it i think like they're looking for the guy off old to go mid stairs and he doesn't he, he switches his his, his path all right he actually just goes right back because number two is streaking there's a slang problem. There is a beautiful look of the cruise wow. missile. That is so much extra map space. Get kills you side. They squad spawn on number two. Number one's already pushed out here. So this is, I fucking love this route by Dill. He knows that they're going to be spawning like this because of his position and because of like where his teammates are. And he's going to wrap around this way. If he, if he does this, gets a two piece, that's fucking typical. Oh, he, he, so he's expecting them to go this way. He, I think he's expecting them to spawn a little bit deeper and he's going to catch them out, but they actually spawn curve here. So if he had, like, dude, I, what I thought he was going to do was wrap around and, and hit this out. And he, he would have got a two-piece. Now he's going to do it. So he's a little late on it. He should still get at least one, though. Oh, unfortunately, yeah, he just gets only one. So he, he thought they were just going to spawn deeper. That's, yeah, definitely what he thought. But the idea was still there, so I like it. So, I mean, Vegas is playing this really well. Like, uh, Vegas, they, they spawn out over here. They get the offense control now. These guys are all funneled from top stage into here. Like, as soon as this guy gets this top office control, and if you can just teamwork one of the guys through the drop here, like Nero does, and you have Dill on the pinch, it's just very bad for LEG. They just get collapsed on. Now they're spawning the back. Vegas knows this. They're just all going to reinforce towards the hill and reinforce the different lanes. Number two can reinforce mid in case they had taken a blue route. Number four is watching this water. They're probably going to end up watching the top office from one of these angles too. Yes, I mean, I think Purge was going to go for it because number one has the drop now. Number one is using this heady so he can have the drop. Number four was going to go and look towards office or play that corner, uh, but he gets naded out. Good rebreak from, from LEG though. Because Vegas doesn't push into the office, they get the office control and get some free, um, you know, just free picks. 
because he he gets he sees Geo easily here and gets a, a kill like for free basically. The the top off is just a good power position just in general. And then this is good teamwork by seven and eight. This is good comms. You hear this shit by by Diamond Con Connor? I love Connor. He said, "I hit him with an eight close. I'm about to chow." So he 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 calls to number seven, Estriel. I'm about to chow. So he they're they're coordinating with each other that they're gonna chow this fucking angle that that Dylan is is hitting out or sorry that Dylan is holding. I'm about to chow. Dill has no chance. They just, they both slide out, drop at the same time, get the kill for free. Good call coming by Connor. So they re-break, but again, only 20 seconds. And Vegas is already going to be like on their high horse to new. I like wait. I like how they broke this. So assault wins a big one vent. So obviously he spawns out towards uh, this dark area over here and tries to go vent, but assault with an AR somehow wins this. So they have to worry about both their mid and their P2 now because Assault won this gunfight. So that's why you see number four look this way, number two's looking this way. No one's looking mid for the time being, right? So they're gonna push out mid. Fame slices his heady. He gets teamwork from 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 Diamond Con. This is, I mean, again, good good coordination. Like one slides over here, other guy chows the half wall, right? They get the first kill. Now it's just it's just deduction on where they could possibly be. You know, we haven't cleared front side P2. We haven't cleared Tiki. We haven't cleared this outer yet. We haven't cleared pool, right? So this is what. I mean, number five just sees this guy uh, like through single over here. Number six is going to be clearing these other angles. They get the kill on uh, this guy's single, number four, and then they know the last guy is, is, is pool. So they didn't kill him. They just don't know where he's at. And he's finessing. Okay, so this is just, I mean, this is a 4v1 on hill, and this is just the... This is just some, uh, some water cheese, honestly. They do end up breaking what he, get, he gets to for it. Good plays by Connor. Just getting active, getting knowing the guys there, just taking initiative, hitting the guy out, so the rest of your guys can like be safe on time. So number five goes to time. He's gonna hit this guy out. Be that layer for your team. Number seven picks up mid. He gets a kill. This is honestly pretty decent by LEG. Like this is good. Kitty is a good call out. I actually kind of like that. We might take that shit just for like kitty pool. I don't mind. I don't mind that. There's a good hold. Honestly, again, I think P5 is one of the easier hills to hold. These physics on the gunfight are fucking stupid, though. Look at this shit. Both of them have pistols out. Both of them are not hitting each other because of the physics of it. It's so dumb. Oh, and he beats him down too. Water cheese, I call that finessing. I don't know if you're joking or not, but I, I'm just calling it water cheese because it's so hard when you're outside of the pool to kill people that are in the pool. It's so hard to see them in the water. I mean, I guess he's, he's popping up to like shoot them, but it, again, it's still hard to see like their body and stuff, you know? Connor gets a streak. He's using it for you side. Gets a two piece. Great job. This is really important because you can actually streak you here. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but you can streak you um, because it's uh, like an open, uh, uh, open roof. Get the two-piece, now you can hold this. This, I mean, definitely possible. Gonna be hard as fuck to do, but definitely possible. You're not gonna win off this hill, so you'd have to hold this new entirely, and then, uh, you know, bang out a P2. But, it, I mean, again, doable. Doable, though. Purge, really good job. Getting a kill, finessing his life. He does get picked up by Domicon, though. 
So Connor, good job getting the trade. I mean, if they if he doesn't get that trade, they lose the map instantly because this guy then just converges on towards the mid stairs. So big trade. Unfortunately, though, number six doesn't have the help on time. So this guy slides on Estrial. Number six doesn't have the trade yet. He's still U side. Connor gets the kill from the mid stairs, so they rebreak on it. But again, it's it's more staggered now. You know. He's spawning out. Number three is actually... Did he spawn P4 side? Oh, no. He actually took a route. So Nero actually takes a route through stage towards you. This is a this is a very, very good route. I mean, number five picks it up initially. But because he has to get time, he he, he has to change his, his, uh, his ways. Now you just hold through the bar. Stay alive for your team. I mean, still, I mean, still good plays out of LEG, though. Again... I think this is the more preferred side. You're going to get the, to the hill quicker. And because you're able to get to the hill quicker, you're able to help your teammates faster. And you're able to get to the mid stairs faster. I think I think it's more so you're able to get to the mid stairs and able to get towards like P1 just in general quicker. So you can you help out your team. It's just the preferred side. So that's why they're still staying in this. We're going towards new. It's going to be a P2. Vegas might not even be there first. Number five. Vegas going to play super tight on this P2 now. They know, I mean, obviously 11 seconds. They have to hold this in order to, like, you know, secure the win. Number five and number seven already pushing out through front. So this is what I was saying in that second P1 to P2, where you, you know you have Tiki, like, dub side control. You might as well start, like, getting this pool side control uh, especially because you're gonna have to you're gonna have to hold this from the front like if they're gonna go front like this instead of pushing around through the back you know you're gonna have to hold this from the front in order to win this game so again coordination teamwork again a good double chow like I don't think LEG is playing this that poorly there was just a stuff a couple stuff from the like the towards the the beginning of the game but this second half they're actually playing pretty well it's a big gunfight now you have to kind of wait for your team i mean obviously these guys are just kind of spawn closer i would have let me see i don't know if there was a way for i mean i think they were just they were worried about people spawning p4 and going around this way but you're not blocking so like they're still going to be spawning deeper here. I would have liked number six to bump number eight off time. And he tries to play through the middle over here. Now you guarantee this P4 spawn. You guarantee this P4 spawn. So anyone that gets killed over here, number four, spawns out over here. Now you have 3v2 on the hill or 3v3 on the hill, whatever. Maybe one guy comes off of old and... and and beats this guy or plays for this guy spawning out P4. But here they're, they're like, I mean, I guess they're so, un, sorry, they're so worried about the fucking time. They're so worried about old that they have to play for this, which kind of sucks because like you have to play one or the other and you know if this guy took a route through you and just won the gunfight new, they win the game. So they have to hold until four seconds. So that's, that's the only thing that kind of fucking sucks. I think if you're you're playing for the win, maybe like you can you have to win these gunfights if you're gonna win the game. So I feel like that's why I would I'd rather take that risk. And that's what I mean. That's what they do once the four seconds remains. But this number four guy just spawns right back up into the fight, so the the gunfight doesn't really matter because he can just reinforce. And they get another kill though, so they get the kill kitty pool. Now they have a three v. 3v i would say a 3v2 on hill number four still watching blue side here number two and number three are both in the vent but it's again awkward as fuck on gunfights i think actually no sorry number two's in the vent number three's uh on top of this little box thing here so in my opinion this is like a 3v2 but like a 3v1 and a half because one of the guys is just like prone inside uh the vent oh a team nade no, this is actually so breakable. How does this happen? So they get the kill. Oh, Connor must have tried to nade close. Or the nade like bounced off the wall, right? So the nade bounces off the wall and actually kills his teammate who was kind of weak. 
Oh, that is a dagger. And then, like, they get the one kill on Nero. They don't kill Geo, and does Geo get this kill? Yeah, he does. Bro, wait, this is actually so breakable. It's not even funny if they don't get the team nade. Because if he doesn't, dude, if he doesn't get team nated, they kill Geo. Because they just double chow it. They can make this happen. Send it. They cut down That's so unfortunate. And then Geo wins a gunfight, and they're just gonna hold. All they have to do is watch event, last guy event, pre-fire it. Yeah. Damn. I mean, that was a, that was a good map. Honestly, like, what was LUG down? LUG played that second half of the game like pretty well. I guess they were never down like so big. They were constantly down like 50, 60. Oh, they were actually down. Oh, they were down 100 over here. What the hell? I didn't realize it was that big in the moment. But they, they played the second half really well. Really, really well, actually. Like, you saw the coordination that they were using to break onto the hills. The coordination to break on the P4. The coordination to break the P5. That coordination there at that last one. Unfortunately, the teammate comes in, so it sucks. But honestly, like, if they didn't have a, a poor start, that was completely winnable. That was a good. That was a good game, though, or a good map. So, uh, Damn, Estrel, eighteen assists. Jesus. You know, true in this look at look at Connor though. Fifty eight hundred damage. Love that. I thought Connor played that really well. Fame thirty four. Geo on the other side, fifty eight damage. Most most in the lobby. Geo was playing that shit really well too.